Hey, what's going on YouTube? Alabama Reloader here. So, uh, just wanted to do a, a quick video today. Uh, talk about a couple of different things. You know, if you're in reloading, interested in reloading, just gotten into reloading uh, due to all of the ammo shortages over the past couple of years with supply chain issues from COVID and all that stuff, you, you know that uh, one of the toughest and hardest things to find are these guys right here primers um and these are some that i've recently picked up i mean within probably the past couple of months i've been able to pick these up um on the shelf at local local stores so so they definitely are coming back around uh, some of the places like i actually bought four of these bricks four of the cci number 34 primers um these were over at mr big guns in huntsville Picked those up within the past couple of months. Uh, picked up, uh, let's see, I think same kind of deal with the, the CCI 450 Magnums, the 400s and the gold medal match, the federal gold medal match. Picked those up over at Cabela's. Um, just, you know, they're, they're coming back in stock. So y'all be patient, uh, you know, when you see them. And, and that's what I'm trying to, I'm trying to pick them up when I see them in store. Um, and, and in each situation, there was no, uh, there was just a limit as far as you could only buy one brick, right? Per day and that type of stuff uh, per customer, right? So they, but at least they weren't breaking them up, right? And going back to how they were rationing them out before where you could only buy like three or four sleeves at a time. So. At least you can buy a brick. Now, yes, they are a whole lot more expensive than they used to be. Uh, these primers, you could pick those up for like less than 50 bucks back in the day. Now, that right there will set you back $100 for that brick. So, gold medal, and that was over at Cabela's. It was uh, 109 That includes tax. So, that's probably, or at least around here, North Alabama, probably going to be the going rate moving forward, I would imagine. I don't really see the prices of these guys coming down too much at all. Uh, maybe you might see them. Their, their landing price will probably be 80 bucks. I bet, if I had to guess. It's probably going to be like $79.99 moving forward. Once everything kind of alleviates uh, all of the continued supply chain issues, alleviate somewhat as we get further and further down the road, and more of this stuff starts to show up on the shelves, then... Hopefully those prices will come down a little bit. They're never going to come back down to what they were before. You're never going to be able to buy these things for like 30, uh, 30 bucks a brick, right? Back when they were going to sell, you could buy them. So they were three cents a, a, a primer. You, that's, that's never going to happen. So just don't even, don't even, that's wishful thinking uh, on your part. If you, if you, uh, think that's ever going to happen again, because it's not. So these were, uh, I think these were like 80. The 450 Magnums were like 80. I can't remember the 400s, but so yeah, very expensive, you know, over double what, what you used to pay uh, for these guys. But again, if you like to reload, you like to shoot, can't really shoot without primers. So, but for me, I'm trying to wait and pick them up when they're in store uh, on the shelves because you're not paying a hazmat fee. You know, it just, it's so much better when you're, cause especially those places where you're paying shipping, then you're paying a hazmat fee on top of that. Man, that just, it's brutal, right? I mean, if you're now, if you're the person you saved all your Biden bucks and you want to go buy, you know, 40 pounds of powder and, uh, you know, 10,000 primers when they come in stock online and you don't mind paying a hazmat fee and a shipping charge and, and all that stuff. If, if you're going to do a bulk order, okay, whatever, right? You can kind of divide that that fee up but man if you're only ordering a, a few pounds of powder and maybe a brick of primers that just eats you alive so but that's it y'all just uh you know stay positive i guess they're coming back in stock so y'all keep your eyes open all right and then the the last thing i want to touch on uh these two two companies here are uh, a couple of clothing companies merchandise companies whatever you want to call it uh, that I really that I really like and, and support Panola Panola Productions. They actually have uh, a lot of good YouTube content. Panola Brand is the merchandise brand of Panola Productions. You guys go check them out. I'll leave the link to their store uh, down in the description below. But 
great folks, great company. They make high quality stuff. So y'all go check it out, you know, buy you some stuff. I've got a really sweet coffee cup uh, from those guys as well. Southern Bread Clothing Company. This is relatively new uh, to me, but follow these guys on Instagram. And they reached out and were like, hey, we, uh, you know, we like what you post. We like the content you produce, all of that fun stuff. Uh, would you be interested in getting a discount code? You know, if anyone buys anything, they can use your discount code and they'll get a discount on what they purchase. And then, you know, you'll get kind of pennies on the dollar, sort of like a referral, right? A little, little fee or whatever that comes straight back to me. So go check their stuff out. I, I've had people ask in the past, you know, hey, are you gonna start a Patreon? Hey, what about a subscribe star? How can we support you monetarily? To be honest with you, I do not wanna set any of that stuff up because with that comes expectations, right? It, it, then it turns into an obligation. You donate money to me, you you go Patreon and you kick in a bunch of money every month and you're like, hey, I want to see certain content, you know, and I need to see it on a regular basis, right? It, it becomes more of an obligation at that point. If I'm telling you, go check out this clothing brand and if you like what they have, go buy you some clothing and you get a discount on it if you use a coupon code that I'm going to put in the description below uh, and I get a few pennies on the dollar kicked back to me, then there's no obligation because you got merchandise for spending your money, right? You you got a product, you got something tangible in return for trading out your money, right? So that's 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 kind of how I would rather approach it, right? So if you guys are even remotely interested in any way, shape, form, or fashion of supporting this channel, which it is completely fine if you don't because this is a hobby, I support it with my own money, uh, with old, old Johnny Paycheck, right? So. Uh, it doesn't really matter to me one way or the other, but if you go and check these guys out, Southern Bread Clothing Company on Instagram, uh, you can go, again, I'll drop their uh, their shop, their website down below in the description. I'll also leave the coupon code down there in the description, so go check that out. If you're gonna go buy something similar to this anyway, then it'll save you a little bit of money, and yeah, good stuff, right? So. That's kind of where we're gonna leave it. Um, stay stay positive. Keep looking for these things, guys. They're out there, I promise you. You'll find them uh, if you just keep looking. And then powder, you know, definitely, there's a ton of powder in stock at all the major reloading companies that we buy from online, right? Midway, Mid-South, Brownells, Powder Valley, Grass, I mean, whatever. Everybody's got powder now, so powder is not the issue anymore. Um, it's just primers, right? And they're slowly coming back around. They're coming back in stores. So y'all just stay patient. And when you see them, you better break out the Biden bucks and buy them. So that's my advice, but that's it. We'll catch y'all next time. Y'all have a good one.